Hi everyone, uh, my name is Dr. Charles Lee and I'm a plastic surgeon, board certified with the Malaysian Association of Plastic Surgeons. Um, what I want to share with you is uh, one of those moments uh, where it was the most difficult time for me, uh, challenging in the sense that I was faced with a situation uh, that today I'm very proud of uh, because I know the results after 17 years. But uh, in 2004, uh, I was fated to uh, meet this young man uh, who at that time was 16 years old and he was on his way to work. So on a normal day uh, at work, I get a phone call from the accident and emergency department and I'm told that there is a young lad here and uh, you know he was involved in a motor vehicle accident and this young man was in Form 5. Uh, he was on his way to work. He was driving a four-wheel drive with a Pajero sitting right down there in the front um, and one thing that he did not have and that is he was not wearing his seat belt. So we scheduled for emergency surgery and took him to the operating theatre and uh, the anaesthetist uh, intubated him and this is what I saw. Now this is what I was presented with. Okay, here was this man, young lad, he was involved in this, you know, windscreen injury and the windscreen had sliced rim right through all the way from the right side of his cheek right across his face to the other from left to right. He was totally, totally severed. And, you know, you can see that his lips were all, his upper lip was all in pieces. Um, he had another injury to his nose and then he had all these glass back injuries and these were very, very severe injuries. And I could lift his whole upper part of his face totally off from the muscles underneath. So what I mean was, you know, I could, now this was totally cut right across his mouth, you know. And when I take a skin hook and hold it up, the whole flap could be just raised off the muscle base. So what happens is that you can see here from the side view, it was totally cut up here, right here involving, you know, this, this is really, really deep down to his muscles. And you know what I did was, I did the repair for him. We started off, we had to clean up the wounds and, um, and it took me 11 hours. I started at about 8.30 in the, in the night. Um, and then by the time the next day, I think more than 11 hours, you know, next day early morning, uh, the, I suddenly I turned around and I found my nurses had shifted duty. Uh, the new team for the morning had come in and I had gone through the whole night putting in piece by piece by piece. Just putting it all together. It was a feat. And this is what happened now, what he looked like after six months. So here he is after six months and you can see all the scars, you know, and uh, they were really tight. Um, he couldn't open his mouth. He had a problem, especially on the left commissure here. And, uh, and the right side was, you know, totally divided. So it took a while for the scars to settle. And I had him in what is like a Spider-Man uh, face mask, you know, a compression garment, which he wore for a year or more, a year and a half, he was in Form 5, he went up to Form 6, and uh, every day, 24 hours, he was very compliant. He wore this pressure mask, and uh, and this is what he looked up after one year of physiotherapy and stretching exercises and scar management, and uh, you know, uh, it was really fantastic. He was a really good patient. And so you can see that the scars are settled down, you know, after about a year, six months, and this is after a year. Uh, his lip was all coming into place. Um, and uh, here he is that showed more mature scars after a year, uh, which I was quite impressed with. Uh, and still, you know, the scars were still there. And if you look at the side view, uh, you will see that, you know, it goes right, right deep. These are what glass injuries do. And it was very difficult for me to get the modulus repaired together with putting his lip uh, together in pieces, right? Uh, this is a uh, cavino limb now. And you can see that uh, he's really done well. He's settled in, the scars look better. And, uh, and I'm very proud of him because, you know, he really, really looks good. Um, and, uh, and I'm so impressed that now he's uh, a businessman and, uh, and this is what I always say, be thankful because we never know when we have these accidents and put your safety belt on because it's a lesson well learned.
I'm very proud of him.